Modern development ecosystems have evolved the way we develop and deploy our applications. Thanks to the rise of serverless and edge tooling, you can quickly develop and ship your applications to millions of users globally. However, working with data amidst these rapid changes can be challenging. Meet Prisma Accelerate, a robust connection pool and global cache that helps you scale your database in serverless and edge applications for a large and global audience. Let's take a look at how Accelerate solves some of the challenges of working with data that arise with the adoption of serverless and edge deployment paradigms. Users of your application can face high latencies when requests from around the globe are being served from a single region database. Well, Accelerate has cache nodes in 300 locations worldwide. This enables you to cache your query results closest to your application servers. As a result, your users will experience significantly reduced query response times regardless of their location. Another challenge is managing data database connections. During sudden spikes in application usage, serverless or edge functions can easily spawn a large number of database connections and exhaust your database connection pool. Here's where Accelerate comes to the rescue. In addition to caching, Accelerate provides a robust managed connection pool. This pool helps you seamlessly scale your database connections, ensuring your application remains stable even during traffic surges. Now I'll demonstrate the challenges and how we can overcome them with a simple Next.js project. The project has an API endpoint that performs forms an aggregation query using Prisma ORM. The aggregation is performed on a post table that has 1 million rows and the database is located in US East 1. I've disabled caching in the API route to keep the focus on database query performance. So let's quickly check whether the existing API is working. I'll start the server using npn run dev and go to local host port 3000 slash API. And we can see that the API is successfully returning the aggregated result. Let's quickly deploy the app over to Vercel. All I have to do is add a new project and then choose the project from GitHub and set the database URL environment variable and we're good to go. You can see that the project has been successfully deployed. I'll head over to the API route in the generated URL to see if it's working. And it works! Now I'll demonstrate that scaling database connections with serverless functions can be challenging by load testing the Next.js API endpoint, which is a serverless function. I'm using Grafana K6 for the load testing and have a script that spawns 80 virtual users to query the database in parallel for 10 seconds. I'll run the script. We can see that 60% of our queries have failed due to our database connection pool being overwhelmed. Let's see whether using Accelerate as a connection pooler can help resolve this. To set up Accelerate, head over to console.prisma.io and then create a new project. I'll name the project Next.js API. Then I'll enable Accelerate. I'll paste my database URL and select the connection pool region in US East 1, which is closest to my database. Then I'll generate the API key for Accelerate and copy the Ex Accelerate connection string, which has the API key included in it. I'll update the database URL with the generated Accelerate connection string in my .env file. To perform migrations and introspections seamlessly when using Prisma Accelerate, you can add the direct URL environment variable and point to it in the schema.prisma file. Then I'll install the Prisma client extension for Accelerate along with the latest Prisma version. After that, I'll generate a Prisma client using the Prisma generate command. I'll be using the Prisma generate no engine command as it has a smaller bundle size and is recommended for serverless and edge functions. To integrate Prisma Accelerate in my project, I'll extend the Prisma client by using the with Accelerate function from the Accelerate client extension. This enables connection pooling for all my queries. Let's deploy the changes in Vercel. First, I'll update the database URL to use the Accelerate connection string. Then, I'll update the build command to use the no engine flag so that we get a smaller bundle for the Prisma client. Then I'll add with Accelerate info at the end of my query, which will provide us with additional information to understand whether Accelerate is working. I'll quickly commit the changes and that should trigger a new deployment. To check whether Accelerate is working, we can head over to the API route in the generated URL again. Nice, it seems to be working fine. You can see that we have additional info alongside our data, which shows that Accelerate has been successfully added. Let's see whether this makes a difference in our load test results. I'll run the script again. And we can see that Accelerate's connection pool has made our endpoint more scalable and robust as our API has a 100% success rate. As the aggregation is a complex query, we can easily add a cache strategy to harness the full potential of Accelerate. We can add caching in line with our queries. We can use time to live, stale while revalidate, 
or a combination of both. I'll go with a TTL of 60 seconds and SWR of 10 seconds. As Accelerate caches results to the nearest location to the application server, I'll change the runtime of the Next.js API to an edge function for the best performance. And then I'll commit the changes. The commit successfully triggered another deployment. Let's check the API endpoint again. We can notice that our queries have become significantly faster as Accelerate is caching the data close to my location. So why wait any longer? Discover Prisma Accelerate for yourself by visiting console.prisma.io. From all of us at Prisma, thanks for being with us. Stay tuned to experience more of Prisma's Data DX initiative.